guys it's your boy the box and lowdown and i'm back here with another video now as always people don't forget to like share and subscribe feel free to drop a comment if you like and i'll happily get back to you just a quick one here man uh julio cesar chavez jr son of the boxing god julio cesar chavez senior uh one of the best mexican not just boxers but sportsmen of all time right uh junior was checked into a psychiatric hospital according to tmz and boxing scene and um there were reports that he had uh I'm taking a lot of pills, dozens of pills, it says in the report. Um, I could only just send my well wishes to him. Uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. was obviously never going to be as good as his father, right? Like, that's that goes without saying. But uh, as a fighter, he did go on to achieve um, what many people haven't. He obviously did have his famous father's surname, but he lived his life on the wild side, to say the least, right? He's uh, always been known for that. And, um, you know, he's made a lot of money during his career. I don't think, I mean, his last fight was back in December 2021. So I think it's safe to say in 2023, December 2023, um, he's probably not going to fight again, right? I mean, he never really took the sport seriously like that. Um, while he was able to achieve what he achieved, yeah, he's 37 years old now. And uh, I don't think he'll be fighting again. But thoughts and, thoughts and prayers go out to him, man, because, you know, I saw this report. And um, yeah, it was concerning reading it. So it is there on TMZ and on Boxing Scene. That's where I saw it. And uh, yeah, apparently taking dozens of pills, being checked into a psychiatric hospital. Must be a lot going on there, man. And I think his dad went on a show uh, not too long ago uh, stating his concerns for his son's mental health. So listen, boxing can be a lonely sport. Uh, I don't know what Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is going through or has been through, uh, but I know that boxing as a whole can be a lonely sport. Uh, particularly when you're no longer competing in it. And um, like I said, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. was always on the wild side anyway. He was pretty known for that. So, um, yeah, my thoughts and prayers go out to him. If you guys know any more information, let me know. But just a quick one here for you all. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on it, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.